In this video I will discuss about academic writing and its features. If you find this video is helpful please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's go! Academic writing is particular style of writing that you need to use when writing a formal essays and reports. Its goal is to convey knowledge, data, and information in a clear, precise, concise, and objective manner. It uses words which are formal, standard, and impersonal. Persuasive and informative essays and research papers are example of this. Is a formal style of writing, its general purpose is to present information in order to display a clear understanding of a particular subject. Features of Academic Writing Number 1. 1. Complexity Written language is relatively more complex than spoken language. Written language has longer words, it is lexically more dense, and it has a more varied vocabulary. It is used more noun-based phrases than verb-based phrases. Written texts are shorter, and the language has more grammatical complexity, including more subordinate clauses and more passives. Number 2. Formality. Formality academic writing is relatively formal. In general this means that in an essay you should avoid colloquial words and expressions. Formal. Sound should not sound casual or conversational. To make your writing more formal, try to a. Avoid using colloquial, slang, or idiomatic expressions. Choose expanded forms over contracted forms. Here's the examples of colloquial, slang, idiomatic, and informal. Go, go up, let me, tell, wrong, throw away, top notch, a lot of. Change it into formal words. Depart, increase, allow, request, inform, incorrect, discard, highly valuable, a great deal of. Example, with women, there's a lot of pressure to conform to a certain physical shape. Therefore it should be. With women, there is a great deal of pressure to conform to a certain physical shape. Replace the word, a lot of, with a great deal of. Some people will find colloquial language are difficult to understand, find a formal equivalent of the word, which can lead to misinterpretation. Instead find a formal equivalent to the word, or just drop or remove it depending on the sentence. To make your writing formal choose expanded forms over contracted forms. Contraction is when two words are combined into one. Contracted form. Doesn't, can't, it's, will, your, isn't, gotta. Expanded form. Does not, cannot. It is, we will, you are, is not going to example the policy doesn't permit illegal dealings it should be the policy does not permit illegal dealings three precision in academic writing facts and figures are given precisely four objectivity written language is in general objective rather than personal it therefore has fewer words that refer to the writer or the reader this means that the main emphasis should be on the information that you want to give, and the arguments you want to make, rather than you. For that reason, academic writing tends to use noun and adjective, rather than verbs and adverbs. In general academic writing is based on facts and evidence, and is not affected by the personal emotions. Therefore to make your essay or research paper convincing you must use an unbiased style of writing. To maintain an objective tone in your writing, avoid the following. Number 1. Personal state of judgment. 2. Emotional language. In writing a research report, avoid the use of personal pronouns such as you, I, and we. Example, instead of writing, I perform an experiment, write, the experiment was performed. Another example, I believe that fast food contribute to obesity. Therefore it should be. In this paper, the effects of fast food consumption on obesity were presented in various studies. Avoid phrases like, I believe, I think, and I feel, because these may indicate biases. Avoid emotive language that shows biases. Example, it is unfortunate that many Filipinos do not have work these days. Therefore it should be. Based on the Philippine Statistics Authority PSA data, 
About half, or 48.2% of unemployed Filipinos are ages 18 to 24. Include facts or evidence to prove your points rather using emotional language. Number 5. Accuracy. Academic writing uses vocabulary accurately. Most subjects have words with narrow specific meanings. Linguistics distinguishes clearly between phonetics and phonemics. General English does not. 6. Responsibility. In academic writing you must be responsible for and must be able to provide evidence and justification for any claims you make. You are also responsible for demonstrating an understanding of any source text you use. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. See you on my next video.